At the beginning of the month, I mentioned in my investing guide that I would make a follow-up video on our Mars stickers, where I see them as an investment, and what to do if you're holding on to hundreds, if not thousands of them like I am, and all that good stuff. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what the hell is going on with this huge supply of r Mars stickers, and if they're finally going to stop dipping down in price and start to show some signs of life, and finally begin to rise. So as always, if you're in the 65% of people that aren't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. And just before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Skinport, the best way out there to buy CSGO skins and begin investing for cheap. Skinport has an inventory of 160,000 plus skins to choose from with anything you want. Are you looking for some breakout cases to invest in because you're sick of these stupid sticker capsules? Well, definitely don't pay the $2.60 they are on the Steam market because they're only in the 180s on Skinport and there's no hidden fees when you buy, it's always the number on your screen, there's no stupid buying fees to deposit money into the site or anything like that, it's directly through your bank or credit card, whether for buying or selling. And if you are looking to sell skins for real money, they're great for that too. They just integrated a new selling fee which is only 6% on skins over $1000. And most importantly, they're a completely safe and trustworthy site with a 4.9 rating on Trustpilot. So be sure to sign up with that link in the description and start saving money on CSGO skins today with Skimport. But for now, let's get right into the video. So RMR stickers, where exactly do we even start with these things? Because they've turned out to be uh, not so great of an investment. With them being on a 75% sale for such an extended period of time compared to past major sales, it really messed things up to an extent that nobody could have really expected. So what is the future looking like for them right now? Well, let's take a look at the next few months. First, we have the major coming in October. How is that going to affect these stickers, if at all? Well, let's compare it to the past. Let's look at the Katowice 2019 Cloud9 stickers. It had two significant dips on two dates that were correlated with RMR stickers, aka new major stickers coming around, so we could expect to see these dips again when the next major comes around. Last time, the first one was on January 7th when the RMR stickers were initially released and many people sold their past investments, including past major stickers which caused a huge dip in price, and then next on April 6th when RMR stickers had their 75% sale, which obviously caused another dip in price as more players wanted to sell their past investments to pick up RMR capsules to open, or RMR stickers to invest in, whatever it may be. But either way, old stickers and investments always have significant dips when a new major comes around and new stickers are released, and I think we're going to see the same thing happen when the new major comes around at the end of October, which of course is not good news for RMR stickers, and I don't think it necessarily gets better from there. If we're set to see a new operation sometime in September alongside the new Dreams and Nightmares case, it's very possible we see yet another dip in these RMR stickers price. Usually when operations come around, we get people selling a lot of their past investments to buy the operation pass, similar to people selling their stickers, past investments, stuff like that, to buy the new major sticker capsules and stickers in the new major. But the thing is, with an operation, People can actually play the operation and potentially, with the new way operations have been working, actually make a profit from playing in it. So why wouldn't you sell your past investments like RMR stickers to do this? I mean, people don't really view them as that great of an investment anymore because they simply haven't shown any good signs and have just been decreasing and decreasing as time goes on. The near future really doesn't look too hot for these stickers, but it's actually not all bad, and here's why. I think RMR stickers are extremely underpriced right now. Unfortunately, there's not too much of a driving force behind them as player counts are lower than what they were during peak COVID times and since it's summer and the CSGO player count always drops during the summer, tied with a dry period in content for the game with no new operation in a few months and no real updates that are going to keep players coming back or just staying in the game, there's not really too much hype behind investing right now, and as we've seen with other big investments in CSGO now, operation skins, cases, all that good stuff, 
they've all taken a big hit off this, and in my eyes, RMR stickers are no different, and are at such a low point right now that it simply just isn't even worth selling them. Like, you might as well just hold on because everyone would be selling at a loss at this point, no matter when you bought, really. Even though they're at an extreme low right now, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna stop, in my eyes, this low is unsustainable and eventually people are going to have to buy back in because these things are just too cheap. I mean, some of the hollows are starting at 6 cents, less than one fourth of the price of a sticker capsule when it was on sale in game. And that's for a hollow, not even a paper. And the best team hollows are all under 50 cents as well on the Steam market. But it's not just over there. The majority of gold stickers are below $15 for what I would definitely consider some decent looking stickers like these could look good on guns and I just don't consider this low sustainable because of that and that's why I haven't sold any of my RMR stickers, no papers, hollows, foils, golds. Also, on the good side of things, I think the new major can potentially even cause a boost to RMR stickers in a way like we've seen with operations even though it may cause a dip. It's very interesting and can really lean either way. So let's compare it to an operation. When Broken Fang was released, we saw Shattered Web and other past operation skins spike up, as people realized the past operation collections weren't going to be reused again. So because of that, depending on what types of stickers are released in the 2021 PGL Major, whether we see gold team stickers again, or how good the stickers look this time around, I think it may even potentially help the RMR stickers, or at least since we're getting new stickers, more investors come into the game which can potentially bring people into buying RMR stickers as an investment since they're so cheap and anyone can afford them, especially people new to investing that just want to buy cheap stuff that's in their budget. But of course, it's just a possibility. Either way, I don't see RMR stickers staying this cheap forever, but at the same time, the near future is pretty unpredictable, like it could really go either way. It's possible that they decrease a bit as a new major and potentially new operation come around, but it's also possible they can start to increase as a new major might have bad stickers or bring back attention to sticker investing as well. Either way, I would definitely consider these stickers as an investment to hold and not to buy or sell at this point. It's just too risky, but they're at such a low right now that it isn't worth selling. But as always, that is just my own opinion when it comes to CSGO investing as someone that has played the game and known the market for over 6 years now. So always invest at your own risk. With these things especially, I just recommend to be patient, but be sure to manage your risk. Don't get overzealous and forget to sell and think your items are going to keep going up and up and up. That's not how a market works. These things are not necessarily free profit either, so always be careful. It is an investment and does have risk. But besides all that, I think that does wrap it up for this video. Just wanted to do a quick follow up on my thoughts with RMR stickers. So as always, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and all that good stuff. And of course, check out the homies over at Skimport as well if you want to save money buying CSGO skins. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.